What's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about Star Citizen for the first time in a few years. Last time I talked about Star Citizen, we were playing Black Ops 3. Yeah, it's been a very long time and it's the same old song and dance coming from Star Citizen. So, what's the outrage about this time? Well, the roadmap has been cancelled. Uh, now, normally I wouldn't care about a roadmap for a video game being cancelled because they're notoriously bullshit. Nobody can ever stick to them. Software development is very difficult and there's always unforeseen issues that will delay you or you know things may actually be easier than you think. So it's very difficult to stick to a roadmap unless the content has already been made. In the case of a lot of games, especially like season pass type games, they can have a roadmap because the content for the most part is done. So... That's not the problem with Star Citizen. The problem with Star Citizen, as always, is the feature creep and the, the pure mismanagement, to be honest. Uh, you got to give Star Citizen some credit. They have absolutely uh, been you know, groundbreakers, man. They were the first people to sell NFTs. Star Citizen has been selling JPEGs of imaginary ships for thousands of dollars for a decade now. They were the, they, they were the market leaders of NFTs long before... Uh, long before this whole thing even kickstarted. So you gotta, gotta really give us some credit there. So, uh, Star, Star Citizen, where are we at? You know, the roadmap got canceled, but where are we at? Is release right around the corner? Like, is this thing, you know, we getting ready to see this thing finally? No, not at all. We are 10 years into development and release is nowhere close. Uh, the Squadron 42 game, the single player game that's supposed to come out before the real Star Citizen is nowhere close to being done apparently. So if you're waiting for the real, like, Star Citizen game, <laughs> you're going to be waiting for a while. And it's already been 10 years. If you are not, if you are still drinking the Star Citizen Kool-Aid and are not at least a little bit concerned at this point, you are fucking crazy. 10 years. It's been 10 years and, and, and release is not even close. It's not even close. Now, it might be hard to visualize what 10, you know, how long is a decade? It's 10 years, right? But let's quantify that. Barack Obama was in his first term as president 10 years ago. World of Warcraft Mists of Pandaria had just come out. Here's the, the craziest one. This was two years before Wildstar came out. Star Citizen has been in development two years before Wildstar came out. Wildstar is at the point to where it's like a cult classic. Like people, you know, dude, remember way back in the day when we played Wildstar? This fucking game has been in development for two years before Wildstar even came out. That's outrageous. Minecraft had just come to the Xbox 360. You heard that right. The Xbox 360. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 was the most popular game in the year 2012 when this whole thing first started. So... This is crazy. I, I, this is like the biggest case of sunk cost fallacy of all time. Like I've been saying it for years, but at this point, if we're ten years in, and there's, what, what are we doing? Like, come on. So, here's the problem. Uh, th when you have a project that goes on for this long and there's so many people involved, there is a massive amount of technical debt. Now, technical net debt is something that's going to happen even in a well-managed project, uh, especially when, you know, an MMO or, you know, some sort of software development that goes on for a long time. Because as you, you know, when you first create the system, you'll have to modify the system. And the more you modify the system, uh, the more arcane and convoluted it gets. And you can go back and refactor stuff and, and whatever, right? You can go back and and make it a little better. But the problem is, is that people come and go. It's been 10 years. The original Star Citizen developers probably don't work on the game anymore, a lot of them, because it's been 10 years. Even if they love their job, 10 years is a very long time. So the amount of technical debt they have, the amount of uh, things that are just purely outdated at this point, has got to be immense. And the thing is, is that just because there's a lot of people working on this game and there's a lot of money that's been putting this game, you got to think of making a video game like making a baby. It's going to take nine months to make the baby, despite how many people are there or despite uh, how much money you have. It's still going to take nine months. And the scope of this game is just outrageous. They keep iterating and iterating on the same, like, bullshit that doesn't matter. And people think that's a good thing, and to a degree it is. And a lot of people like to criticize the game executives that, oh, they pushed this game out the door before it was ready. Oh, you can't release a game before it's ready. You know, wait, wait, delay, delay, delay. People are starting to wisen up to the fact that that's not, that's not really true. In the case of, like, Cyberpunk, they delayed the shit out of that game and it was still bad. 
the reality of a lot of creative people is if you don't put a little bit of a fire under their ass and make them commit to something and give them a deadline, a reasonable deadline, they will spin their wheels and iterate and iterate on the most pointless shit and waste a ton of time and a ton of money. So, uh, not only, God damn, this fucking truck is ruining my commentary. I'm sorry, guys. So, dude, it's crazy. Like, this motherfucker is is not coming out. I, I don't know. I, there's... I, I want to be wrong. Guys, here's the biggest thing is that I really want to be wrong. I want this game to come out and it to be the shit. It, if it is the shit, everyone will play this game because, dude, wow. But I think this thing is just going to putter out, dude. They're just they're just going to putter out and they're going to like not get that funding that they needed and it's just going to kind of crawl to the finish line and die. That's my prediction, man. I just don't... I don't see it happening. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.